first thing with payload is we need to be able to select which truck. I have the ability through my monitor to be able to select at least 50 different trucks off, off, uh, 50 different truck options as well as 20 different materials. And you can input the densities with materials and weights of the trucks as well. So I've already selected, I've already selected this 745, which is a 41.5 tonne truck. So I, can, I have the ability to static weigh. At the moment, I know I have 1.5 tonne in the truck. As I swing around and tip into the truck, the beauty of the payload system here is that it deducts from the total of the truck. So I now know that I have 40 tonne left in the truck. The good thing about working with payload is that it can also work with other ease of use features. So at the moment, let's put another bucket in. I know I've got 1.8 tonne. And then again, as soon as I flick over and tip into the truck, it'll deduct. So swing assist works if no matter where I place the bucket, I can ask the machine to stop in that exact position. So all I do with, with the buttons on, on the neck of my joysticks, which I've previously configured, I can flick over to my eFence page, use my jog dial, go to assist, and go to what we call swing assist right. So now, after I tip my bucket out and go collect another bucket, again using payload, I still know that I have at least 36.6 uh, tonne to put in that truck. Now when I swing around and put the bucket in, we can get another 1.6 tonne. As I slew across, hopefully you can see on the monitor over there, I've got my left joystick pulled over as hard as I can go. The excavator has stopped in the position that I've asked it to. This is swing assist right. Now as I tip that in and I let go of my joystick, with swing assist, I've let go of the joystick, I can actually push past it now if I choose to. So that's payload working in conjunction with Swing Assist, James.